Well hello there my dear friends, welcome back to the Scott Reed Project and today we are going to be doing something with the humble chicken drumstick. As we all know, it's the ultimate finger food. I mean I love it, roasted, barbecued, on the grill, in the smoker. Of course we got the old Colonel and his 11 herbs and spices, which is a guilty pleasure of mine. But me being me, you know, I'm always looking to try new things, new ways to prepare stuff. And I've come up with an idea with these chicken drumsticks and uh, I've been working on it and I wanna show you what I've come up with. Now, what I call these are chicken crossbones. And you will see why when we cook some and you see the end product. So basically then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one drumstick. Okay then, so my idea, sounds a bit nuts, but I was thinking if there is a way we could make this easier to pick up and eat, but also look good. And this is what I've come up with. So with our drumstick then, what I'm gonna do, is you can see where the meat starts and ends, I'm just going to, with my knife, just trace around that leg. As you can see, I've just started to nip to the bone and all I'm doing with the heel of the knife, as you can see I'm just exposing the bone, is just pushing that skin up and then what we can do is our knife through the join, just like that. We can trim that up in a minute and I'll show you with another one and that gives us I suppose what you would call a French trimmed drumstick. Really nice to hold on to. So I thought, what happens if we put one the other end? So I will continue to just scrape down this bone, just loosening it to about halfway. And then in from this end, just with the tip of the knife, I'm going to find the bone from this end, just around that knuckle, keeping the meat all in one piece. And again, we will just scrape down the bone, taking all that meat with us. Then we get to that pin bone, which is here. We get our knife underneath it like that, as you can see, and release it there, and that will give us our pin bone, just gently pull it out. And basically what we have then is our meat completely loose, sliding on our drumstick bone. So I thought, right, we will fold the skin back round the meat, just like that, to form, I suppose, a perfect little ball. And when this cooks, obviously this will all bunch up and you'll be left with two lovely clean sides of bone. So I shall just trim off anything else off these bones. And when you're doing this, we wanna try and tuck all that meat into the skin. Now I know this seems a lot of work, fiddly, but if you like food, you like preparing food, and you like new things, I mean this is pretty, pretty cool. So we have one. Now all I need to do is I get some tin foil, I put it over the end and I just wrap it round and that protects that bone. And then again, with the other end, we'll tidy that up, just fold a bit of tin foil round the end of that bone and then squeeze it shut and then we'll just manipulate that skin back round it. Now you can see where I'm going with this. Now the beauty of this, like I said at the start, marinate it in whatever you like, whatever rubs, whatever sauces, prepare these beforehand, in the oven, under the grill, on the grill, on the barbie, in the smoker, and they look pretty damn cool, and we will cook a few up. But again, I will just show you one more time how we make those. 
So looking for where the meat starts, heel of the knife in, score round, and then just scrape down. I mean, they don't take very long to prepare. They look cool and of course, because it's boned out and that meat slides along the bone, so easy to eat off the bone. And again, just round that bone and again, scraping down. Granted, it looks nuts, but wait until you see the finished thing. Under that bone, expose it by pulling and it comes out and there we have again another easily manageable chicken crossbone. Now the reason I call it a chicken crossbone will become clear when you see a finished one come out of the oven. So I should just tidy this up then because I just did that quick for the camera. I shall get some foil around it and we'll get it in the oven for about the usual cooking time of a chicken drumstick. And I will marinate it in my favorite barbecue sauce. So again, foil on the end, protecting that bone. One, two, and I'll get these in the oven. Pushing that skin in to make that beautiful, perfect, almost Christmas cracker, almost boiled sweet, styly. Right, I just cook a few of these up for you. So there they are then, ready to go into the oven. So I've just put a bit of oil on them, some salt, some pepper, some thyme, and halfway through I will get my uh, barbecue sauce of choice. I will start laying down some layers of flavor. So I just wanted to show you these. These have been in the oven now for 10 minutes and you can see how, because we've loosened it, the meat has tensed up and gone into the middle and you can really make out that shape now. They're looking pretty cool. I'm just gonna glaze these and get them back in the oven because I want to try one. Right then my friends, my chicken crossbones are done. And what do you think of those? Don't they look pretty cool? Now obviously because we loosened off the bone, the bone completely turns inside it. And obviously a little bit of tidying up there, Scott. We just pull these off. Spend your time trimming them if you want to. Just take off the tin foil. And there you have them. Beautiful chicken crossbones. Now, why do I call them crossbones? Because to me, they remind me a bit of the Jolly Roger flag. That is it. And I suppose it's a bone, a cross. But great, great finger food. I love how it turns on the bone. Obviously, you can eat it very, very simple. Now, I know what you're thinking, Scott dude, have you lost your mind? Is life too short? Well, to be honest with you, with something like this, because this is so easy to prepare, you know, they don't take very long and they look pretty cool, as you can see. But the beauty is you can prepare all these, get them glazed, get them marinated, let them sit in the fridge a few hours before and all the night before, you know, they'll be even better when they've set in the fridge. But I just think it's great, you know, and if you have friends around for a barbie or whatever, just put them straight on and they are done. But I think they look pretty trick. Well, I would say that, wouldn't I? Would you like to try one? Just look at that, eh? Pretty, pretty cool. Mm. Mmm. Oh, that was good. That was really, really good. Look at it. It's genius, really, isn't it? 
Anyway, if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today, please click subscribe by clicking on my ugly mug down here. Also, check out the video I've got here. Uh, this is a video about buying chickens whole and then breaking them down, which is actually ideal for this, you know, how expensive drumsticks or legs or thighs or chicken fillets are. But if you get chickens on sale, buy them, check this video out and it will show you how to break them down into all the relevant parts. So until next time then, you know I'm gonna have one more of these. It's just too good to just leave sitting around. Take care, all the best. Hoisto, Jolly Roger. Mm.